everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here hello my name is emma rose and welcome to my channel so guys today i actually wasn't planning on doing a video just because i actually had a really long day and i was going about my business i thought i was gonna come home you know tuck myself into bed but then when i got home i realized i had a beautiful gift waiting for me so my beauty box arrived i was like nope i have to do this video i really want to try out these products just because i've been looking at them online for such a long time and actually chose a lot more makeup products than usual in this box there was like so much makeup i was like no i have to get all the makeup i can so obviously i had to open up just before doing this video because i was just too excited but yeah so this is all the stuff i got in my book and if you don't know about the latest in beauty subscription box so basically every month you can go online and you pick what gets sent to your house instead of you know them randomly putting some stuff for you so i get nine products a month for 18 pounds which i think is quite good considering you get to choose everything that gets sent to your house so you know i cannot complain i'm happy okay guys so as it's my first time seeing these products i'm going to be you know giving a bit of information about them so i'm going to be reading online as i haven't tried them before and just giving you a bit of details about each of the products so the first item i chose is this nars velvet matte lip pencil and it obviously came in travel size i was actually quite upset actually a lot of my stuff this month came teeny tiny travel size they tell you about the measurements online i just wish that they tell you just directly that it's full size or sample size you know instead of just being like 30 grams 15 grams it makes me have to go online do a whole research to see what the actual size is which gets too long so i didn't actually check the sizes this month but ones i thought would be full size came out you know sample sizes so what can i do i'm going to show you guys the color so it's defo a color i would go for and yeah so this is a lip pencil i've never actually bought a lip pencil from nars before so i really want to try this out just to see if it's good because i usually love nars products so i had to try out their lip pencils it delivers instant impact in one easy swipe this cold lip delivers pencil precision with the ultimate lipstick coverage so i'm going to try this one out for you guys just to see how amazing it is Oh, I just wish you were bigger. Anyway. Anyway, it's okay. It's okay. It's fine. I'm just going to put this away. Let me... I don't know if you meant to put a lip liner before this. I just took my lip liner off. Anyway. Um, let's see. It comes on like a lip liner. That is too cute. Just one half done. I actually really like the colour. I like the color a lot it's a bit too dark but i mean i think if you put like a light color with it it'll come out really nice like in the middle mm, and it is very okay i really like this it literally glides on like a lip liner like you don't even need a lip liner with this i love it I actually really like it and I'm gonna end up getting the full size I know it I'm gonna see how I get on with it you know with my daily makeup routine if I like it I'm definitely gonna invest in the full size one okay so the second item I chose in my beauty box is what should I pick out you know what I'm gonna go with the Laura Mercy a lipstick just so I can put it with this just to see how they both you know combine and look I'm a sucker for a good lipstick like what can you do so unfortunately with this one it also came sample size it came really teeny tiny i thought this was gonna be a huge one so yes i got a laura mercier lipstick just because i've never tried her lipsticks before and that's so cute <laughs> look how tiny that is this is like for my little sister look how tiny that is next to my pinky it's like the size of my pinky okay that is so tiny but the color is quite cute it came out like pinky but i feel like it's Similar to the NARS lipstick, they literally look so alike. So let me just give you some deets on this before I move on. Rouge Essential Lipstick a La Rose. And it's a high impact colour with compromising lip comfort. This deluxe formula from Laura Mercier delivers on a statement making lipstick that keeps the lips satin soft. I usually go for matte type of lipsticks, but... I don't mind testing this out well you know it's the test the size so you know what else can i do with it it'll probably last just a few tries literally i'm so for trying out new makeup and i was really excited to give this one a try 
more because I thought it was full size but anyway don't know how to apply little lipstick so tiny okay it is definitely very pink but it glides on so nicely yeah I think this would definitely have to be put with a lip liner just because it's very pink well <laughs> I've never gone for such a pinky shade although I thought it was not as pink if that makes sense even though it looks pink I don't think it would be like you know this pink but I'm all for giving stuff a try hello okay so yeah I don't know why I zoomed that one then I just came to the camera like does that make any sense Emma? but it is very actually let me zoom in again <laughs> I am so confused okay so yeah it is very pinky pinky pink um very soft very satin but very pink let me just finally zoom out unless you know i magically want to zoom in again because apparently i'm loving the zoom in today i don't know how i feel about this color um but i like it you know what it's different so we're gonna you know experiment a little bit you know i'm not gonna stay to my nudie lipstick side that is not gonna happen i'm gonna try experiment and hmm i'm just gonna leave it on i'm, I'm sure the color will grow on me It'll grow on me, it's fine. It's fine. Oh gosh. <laughs> it's fine, it'll grow on me. Um it'll grow on me, it's okay. I like it. I think I like it. Just stop looking at the mirror. Okay, okay guys, so third item, well third and fourth item I got because I basically got two eyeshadows, but you know they came separately. I don't know why they just didn't come together because they're just different shades. Why didn't you just come together? This is full size, I believe. I am hoping something came full size. Yes, I'm sure this is full size. So I got this Charmy, Charmy Pigment Loose Eyeshadow. And can you guys believe it or not? I've never actually bought loose eyeshadow. Maybe I have one time. I don't know, maybe. Maybe I have, but I can't remember right now. Just because it's not something I remember buying. But... I buy creamy eyeshadows, not loose eyeshadows. So this is the first time receiving an eyeshadow. I didn't even buy it this time. You know, <laughs> I had the choice. And I was like, you know what? I've never tried loose eyeshadow. So let's try this one out. So I got a really cute color, like champagne color. Chameleon, I believe they are called. What is this called? I'll look online. Yeah, I don't know where I got the name Chameleon from. I'm clearly tired. Um... But it is called Light Tree. Oh, Chameleon is the other shade. I thought these were Chameleon. The impactful loose pigments that make a real statement. Effects eyeshadows are the perfect pop of colour day or night. That is too cute. And it's from After Cosm... What? <laughs> it's from Effect Cosmetics. After? <laughs> what? Um, yeah, so it's from Effect Cosmetics. I've never actually tried their makeup before. It's the first time trying them. So, you know, I want to see how I get on with this. I don't know if I'm doing that right. That is too cute. I really like these type of shades, you know, for that just kind of pop of glitter on your eye. I think it will work amazingly. I need to try this one out on a makeup look because I've never tried loose eyeshadows before. I don't know why. I don't know. It's not something I've considered buying so for my fourth item i got exactly the same um effect loose eyeshadow but i got it in chameleon let's see how this one comes out this one's so pretty it's like can you guys see how pretty that color is i don't know why it looks horrible like online online looks like a green i was actually about to not get this one because i thought the color just didn't you know do it for me online but I think I'm liking it more than the green tree, green tree, light tree one. So this light tree and this is Chameleon. And I think if you wet the eyeshadow brush a bit just before applying this onto your eyeshadow, it will look amazing. Like it will be so good. Okay guys, so the fifth item I got is a Kiss Magnetic 
eyeliner and eyelash why well, i say magnetic eyeliner just in bold but i got this i love kiss lashes i really do although the lashes online look a lot thicker than these these look very natural and i don't really usually go for natural looking eyelashes as you can tell by my makeup i like being you know just a tad teeny bit dramatic so yeah i usually go for quite dramatic eyelashes which is why i was kind of like upset with these when they arrived but i mean if i'm ever in the mood for a natural look at least i know i have these and they are too cute so i've used one pair of magnetic eyelashes in my life but i got them from amazon and amazon quality stuff sometimes not the best quality like they have really amazing products but i mean i like them but i didn't like them like on amazon i got free magnetic eyelashes with an eyeliner probably for like nine ten pounds these retail for 17.99 which is why i mainly wanted to try them i want to give this a go and see if you know it comes out nicer than you know amazon eyelashes but yeah, that's just me just wanting to experiment. I'll probably do an individual video on these eyelashes just to see how I get on with them. And if I like them better than the previous Amazon ones I bought. Okay guys, so the next item I got is this crystal glass vial. And they look so cute. I mean, I've always seen them, but I've never really thought to buy one. I just, you know, use normal nail files, but I saw that I could get it in my box. And I really want to try this one out. I want to see how it's different to a normal nail file. I know it has nothing to do with nothing. But it was just me being curious. So I want to take out the pack for you guys. Oh, it looks so, it feels amazing. <laughs> I just stopped filing my nails, even though I just filed them and I did my nails a few days ago. It's completely fine. From what I can see so far, I'm really liking it. I feel like I do like it better than a normal nail file, just because it does amazing yet and filing your nails and it doesn't leave like the lines on nail files, you know what I mean? Which I find so annoying. It just looks so cute. So this is from Brushworks, so I've never actually bought any products from Brushworks, but their nail file I am loving. So the crystal glass file gives your nails a salon quality treatment with this glass nail file from Brushworks. And I've actually got like a little nail station in my room, as I usually do my nails like every two weeks when I can be bothered. So I can't wait to add this little baby to my nail equipment. Oh guys, I forgot to mention, I got a complimentary Estee Lauder hand sanitizer. And look how huge the bottle is. So, you know, it's 200 ml. Who can complain with a 200 ml Estee Lauder hand sanitizer? Which, I mean, I actually really needed, especially during this pandemic. Yeah, and the UK has gone under lockdown again. So, I am prepared. And it smells like hand sanitizer. I don't know. I just have a weird habit of smelling stuff. If you haven't seen from my other videos. Actually, let me try this. It's quite liquidy. I'm definitely going to be carrying this with me in my bag everywhere. I have a weird habit. Like, everywhere you go, there's hand sanitizer. So, I've just gone into a habit of applying hand sanitizer everywhere. Oh, that's weird. It doesn't keep the alcohol. You know, usually it keeps an alcohol smell. It doesn't have an alcohol smell afterwards is weird yeah it has it now that literally went up my nose and it's my brain that burned me okay yeah the smell disappears i actually really like that you know when your hand starts thinking of alcohol but then i feel like my hands are clean when they're smelling of alcohol <laughs> do you know what i mean because it disappears i'm like are you still there <laughs> it's very interesting first hand sanitizer i've seen that the smell disappears rub on hands until dry okay it's interesting um, but because I love Estee Lauder products, I trust her and um, I think maybe she just done a hand sanitizer that just takes away the alcohol smell afterwards. Okay guys, so the next item I got is a lip balm, yeah lip balm from Bondi Sands and I love Bondi Sands. Let me show you guys. It's winter now. Obviously, my lips are going to be getting chappy because it's going to get very cold here in London. So I'm preparing myself and I usually buy a lot of these lip balms. But since I saw that I could get it in the box, I was like, I have to try this out. Plus, it is with SPF 50. I don't know why I'm saying that as if there's going to be sun here for a very, very long time. 
but if you are in a hot country <laughs> then yes it's spf 50 which is amazing unless i just save this until my next holiday so what it says online about the product is let bondi sounds coconut lip balm be your beach bag buddy this summer with an spf 50 the nourishing formula keeps your lips hydrated while protecting you from harmful you have uva and uvb rays okay i just started seeing blurry there for a second oh i forgot so it's coconut don't squirt please mm. it smells like tanning oil you know when you're about to put your tanning oil while you're on holiday it smells like that but coconut version it smells very coconutty okay guys so the last item i got is this kat von d tattoo liner and i love her eyeliners and well no eyeliner i've only tried this one from her but it is an amazing eyeliner but it's a sample size i kind of knew it was a sample size from online because i checked the measurements because i really wanted to know um how big this was going to be just to not get my hopes up so yes i got the sample size but i mean it's worth it weirdly enough my last eyeliner from her actually just ran out not long ago so i'm happy to have an extra few times with her eyeliner before you know i just completely don't have her eyeliner anymore so i definitely had to add this onto my beauty box even though it was just sample size but i love the eyeliner so i was like you know what it's good enough <laughs> not gonna complain i'm not gonna complain here um I'm trying to open it up does want to open so it's basically an eyeliner pen i believe yes it is a waterproof liquid eyeliner but it does come off with the makeup remover you know how it's not like waterproof mascara that doesn't come off and it works so beautifully why can't i open you this is one of my favorite eyeliners to use my top top eyeliner would be the tom ford one you know the double ended one. Oh my gosh that one's amazing it's just too costly though which is why i can't get it as often as i'd want but mm. when you turn savage okay finally could have just used it my teeth the whole time so yeah look how cute it is it's like literally so tiny it's the tiniest little thing her eyeliners do last me a very very long time you know the full size one so i think this one would probably be half that time so i'll say a few months i'm just going to use this one for very 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 special occasions let's just put it that way but yeah i had to get her tattoo liner i love these eyeliners okay guys so we have come to the end of my video i hope you enjoyed the review and the unboxing and if you did please don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i shall see you all in my next video bye guys